Tom Tom invited us to Amsterdam to see how they made their maps. This video is a second in a series of five and looks at the community input called MapShare. MapShare encompasses all types of community input, but this video concentrates on the PND changes and TomTom's own Cartopia. Here we are creating an edit to prevent a blocked road being used in the map. We will make the changes on a TomTom Go 1005, then in TomTom's editing tool Cartopia. <laughs> Select the correct road segment. Uh, and that's for, for you of course, no issue, but... Nico, yes, uh, Kade. Yeah. Uh, and then options or? Uh, uh, what what is it done? Try. So now it asks what, what should be done. So now you get the information from what it currently is. So it is open westbound, it is open eastbound. So what would you make it? You want to close in both directions. Done. Share, do you want to share it? Is it permanent or temporary? It's temporary. Okay. 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 So th because it's new, you have to continue. Yeah? These corrections won't actually get uh, sent to the database until the device is actually connected to yeah. the computer again. I think it's still, I don't know if the latest mm -hmm. version still have to, yeah, cool. yeah. Because of course they can be online with the services, but I think you still have to be connected to your. Uh, yeah. picked in, in if we look to the right, we'll see a road that is at least not blocked. So it has no, let's say, no one-way street. But currently, it's not yet built. Yeah. So there are a couple of ways of working. Uh, we'll get a lot of uh, customer feedback, and as, as Mark mentioned, we also have in office the uh, uh, benefits of that we know about where people drive and in which direction they drive, so we can validate already, hey, uh, w there is a potential update. So we can update quite some things already uh, in the office. But sometimes you don't know. So if there is a, a gutter works or something, we don't see traces for a period of time. But you have no clue if it's gutter works or is it uh, whatever. So if people notify us, hey, there is a blocked road, we also do not always know, is it temporary or is it permanent? Should we make an update, yes or no? And so, and, and that's more the trick that we have to know. But at this moment, it's really that we, we are there. This is, let's say, a couple of years ago when we did not have the benefit of all those informations. Yeah, we simply went to new residential areas and update our map. And this is more the method that we can use for that. So we now see that this road is still closed. So we will close it now. We close it off with the uh, traffic flow here. Say what it is. It is a traffic uh, restriction and a direction of traffic flow. This is a lot of administration information. Well, later on, project manager can say, "Okay, oh, we'll go for this one, and we'll skip this one." This is the most important issue that we need to uh, validate now. This update information I can tr transit later on today, and it will be in the production. Can be picked up in the production environment. Uh, yeah, this evening or. Uh, 